good morning YouTubers. Uh, here we go then. Sorry I've not managed to get much of my blog done this week. I'm busy, busy, busy with earthquakes and delayed flights, etc, etc. So here we are. It's Friday morning from sunny California. I've got my coffee. Um, and basically it's just a little video to let you know the ins and outs of why I do this stuff. And then we'll go on about what's been going on. So as a lot of people know, I've suffered from depression and suffered from anxiety, I've been put on meds, I've been in bad places and I've been in good places. So I decided one day the only way to fix myself um, is not use medication but to travel the world and see new places, push myself and for people suffering from anxiety it's one of the hardest things in the world because as you know when you're sitting in groups you just assume that everyone's staring at you and judging you. So a little tip there is basically plug in your music plug in your favorite song. His, I call it a historic song. Songs remind you of thing, good things from the past, good memories. Um, read a book, log yourself out, and then um, things will be okay. I mean, Gatwick Airport on Saturday, there I was prepared. Met a lovely couple, um, Trish and Dan from London, who were amazing. They sat there, we had drinks, and they made me feel so easy, and they were brilliant. Also met an amazing girl from Canada who was out in England traveling called Lisa. Hey Lisa, if you've subscribed, you get a shout out. Sorry, Tristan Dan, you get shout outs. Um, who we had a coffee and wow, just she's amazing. And in such a you know when you meet someone for such a small space of time, it just feels so brilliant. That that was that. Anyway, so um, day one Saturday, uh, I'm traveling from Gatwick into Las Vegas. Uh, British Airways decided to delay the flight by just over three and a half hours. Um, so hanging around there doesn't help but if you're feeling strong enough please try and just talk to talk to a stranger and it helps it's the hardest thing in the world but it does does help trust me I've done it from experience um, so eventually get on the plane to find out that the um, entertainment is broken so if you imagine a ten and a half hour flight without actually doing anything um, uh, I mentioned to the stewardesses that I like to do comedy and I think they were really hoping I was going to do an 11 hour gig. No one deserves that pain, nobody. Um, luckily the entertainment kicked back in, so the flight was quite reasonable, flew back into Las Vegas um, on time to find out that my connecting flight was now delayed by two and a half hours. So by the time I'd arrived in sunny Lancaster in California, I believe it was 28 hours I was awake so that was mad arriving on time met with Rich and Debs and Michael I have had the best time it's been an amazing roller coaster of a journey this um, one that I'm so glad I've made uh, we've had like I say earthquakes we have had um, I'll hit back on the earthquake bit in a moment um, but so much to do out here um, Lancaster lovely little town in California stuck in the middle of the desert hitting heats of anything from 33 degrees to 44 degrees um, and so many sights to see um, the wildlife beautiful fluffy creatures like black widows rattlesnakes mountain lions you know that kind of stuff um, but yeah definitely a recommended place to visit um, so I've basically done a lot of sightseeing bits um, nice little hike through the desert I went to see the Kill Bill Church which is about 45 minutes away from where I'm staying uh, met Pastor Oscar, who was an amazing man, um, who very wise, uh, Guatemalan, I think, or Mexican, um, and basically told stories about who he'd met and what he'd done. The amount of films this church has been in is crazy, from Kill Bill to uh, Equalizer 2, being quite recent, to um, The Terminator, surprisingly. So, Pastor Oscar was telling us about um, the people he'd met. What a man, what a man. Signed to Gasper. Corby is finally in a guest book in the middle of the Mojave Desert um, so I did mention that will probably be the only time anyone from Corby will sign that book so it might be worth something one day um, hello to all my Corby peeps by the way um, so yeah Santa Monica uh, if you ever come out here go and visit Santa Monica it's absolutely amazing um, you know the beach bit and I was out there for the England ladies versus American ladies so you can imagine I was you know, one of a few English people out there surrounded by Americans it got a bit rowdy but a great fun friendly people uh, today's plan it's Friday um, oh sorry I'll come back to that in a minute uh, we did um, a lot of the American stuff went to a local baseball game minor league game but um, entertaining 
totally different life than it is on the TV. Uh, it's uh, typical American sports, stop and start, stop and start, but that's baseball for you. <clears throat> um, and I went to my first rodeo last night. Oh my God, cowgirls were amazing. Um, <laughs> so much Daisy Dukes out there, it's unbelievable. Um, so if you're a hot blood male, go see a rodeo, you're gonna love it. It's not just about cowboys, man. Um, <laughs> that, that one's for Dan and Alan as well. Um, hit a rodeo, the cowboys, you, you know, say no more, say no more. But yeah, um, it's an acquired taste, but it's bull riding. You know, I don't believe there's anything. That's, the bull seemed to be quite happy in what they were doing, um, from being ridden to being led back. To, there was no stun gun, stuff like that, basically just lassoing, leading them back to the, pow the, the parks, and they were fine. But yeah, such an amazing experience. Um, Fourth of July celebrations, firework show was absolutely out of this world. Um, and yeah, like I say, we'll hit the earthquake. So yesterday morning at quarter past 10 on the 4th of July, sitting there on the couch, minding my own business, and all of a sudden a 6.6 .6 Richter scale earthquake kicks in in Bakersfield, which is an hour away from where we are. I believe it made the news. I love the fact that a lot of people got in touch to make sure I'm still alive and not buried under the ground. Uh, but definitely an experience. A um, bit freaky, a bit, little bit scary, um, as in you don't know what's gonna happen next. But basically, light shook, pictures shook off walls the house shook it, it was like being in a hot tub or a massage parlor i guess um today's plan is friday uh so we're off to los angeles i'm gonna go see the hollywood sign i want to see nakatomi plaza i'm gonna see uh the chinese theater um who knows someone might recognize me from a comedy days i might even recognize a couple of z-list actors ryan reynolds johnny depp you never know your luck if i do selfies will bring um so yeah all in all Going back to the old, it's been one amazing trip, one amazing ride. Um, we'd definitely come back. I'm gonna miss this place like mad. Um, it's true to say, the sunshine does help. Um, so, yeah, Los Angeles today. Dinner with the guys tonight as a massive thank you for putting up on my madness for a week. Um, and then tomorrow I leave for London at five past five in the evening from LAX getting me into Heathrow half past two on Sunday just in time for the birthday celebrations anyway guys um, thanks for watching thanks for listening um, any shout outs please message um, and we'll go from there oh regarding comedy um, they wouldn't let me perform because I didn't have an agent they did offer me an open mic spot but it was two minutes and I would have had to wait three hours to get there so I'm, I'm up there with Jimmy Carr Mickey Flanagan Billy Connolly I'm brilliant I deserve better than that so that's been put on hold um we'll carry on with the comedy writing though because it's coming on quite well and i'll try and get a couple of shows done in london uh next port call for me now is either going to be if i can be bothered to do it book it into ibiza possibly corfu might even do copenhagen and then a massive trip in november in canada so watch out for these travel blogs please tune in when you can F subscribe um it's just a madman on a mission who suffered from depression and anxiety using traveling and holidays to fix yourself over meds. Anyway, have a great day, guys. Thanks for watching. See you soon.